Good afternoon, I'm Kim Baez. Tens of thousands of dollars were spent to keep several roosters alive for a cockfighting investigation. The case ended yesterday with the owner being acquitted. And the district attorney's office in Santa Fe thinks the CSI effect may be partly to blame. News 13's Deanna Salceda is here to explain. Well, Kim, the jury only took two hours to make its decision. The deputy district attorney is surprised Raul Trinidad Enriquez of La Cienega was acquitted. She says the jury was calling for tests that don't even exist. <coughs> Ten roosters have been the focus of a cockfighting case against this man, Raul Trinidad Enriquez of La Cienega. He faced 12 counts of training, equipping, or sponsoring birds for the purpose of cockfighting after he was busted almost two years ago. Since then, the birds have been considered evidence. They were kept at the Santa Fe Animal Shelter. They had to build chicken coops to hold them and uh, keep them outside and feed them. The deputy district attorney, Regina Ryancheck, says the price tag to keep those birds varies from $60,000 to $100K. Now, that could have all been avoided if Trinidad had taken a plea offer, but he wanted a trial. So the evidence, the roosters, were kept. Prosecutors motioned to have the birds euthanized and frozen last fall, but the judge sent them to a private home. Thursday, a jury acquitted Trinidad of all charges. I don't know that it says anything about New Mexico's attitude toward cockfighting, because in jury selection, most of the prospective jurors were pretty horrified um, or expressed their uh, dislike of any type of animal cruelty. The DA's office said they had some convincing evidence. Numerous used and new syringes. It had bottles of vitamin B12 uh, that were marked for game foul use only. Investigators also found blister packs with a drug called Viraton. That is made in Mexico and contains testosterone specifically made for game foul for cockfighting. So I think what happened in this case is that we kind of got the CSI effect. Ryan Check says the jurors were demanding tests that don't even exist for roosters used in cockfighting. They wanted a test to show whether B12 was in the rooster's system. Such a test doesn't exist, so Trinidad was acquitted. Ryan Check said the real crime lab work is very different from TV. The jurors are holding us to the standard of CSI that well, gee, you should have answered all these questions and had all these tests that would have given us the 100% proof positive, no questions, no doubts answer. And that's not possible. So where are the roosters now? The people who have housed the birds would like to keep them, but if Trinidad wants the birds back, he'll get them. Back to you, Kim. Okay, thanks, Tiana. Now, New Mexico was the 49th state to make cockfighting illegal. That was in 2007. Louisiana was the last to ban it in 2008.